20 meters. We'll take step seven in one, 102. You are primed to send retreat if the primary range is less than six meters. How copy? Station copies, we're prime if uh, range is less than six meters, and we're in step seven, one dot 102. We're about uh, three and a half minutes away from uh, capture point arrival at a distance of just 30 feet. A final go, no go for capture then uh, will be uh, confirmed by the flight control team here in Houston, led by flight director Emily Nelson and the Cygnus flight control team at the Orbital Sciences headquarters in Dulles, Virginia. The two craft are passing over the North Atlantic. This view now from a camera on the end effector of the Canadarm2. Cygnus now has reached uh, the capture point. A good view uh, of the engine on the cargo craft uh, that has faithfully executed uh, all of the rendezvous burns uh, to fine tune its uh, path over the past two and a half days following its launch uh, from the Wallops flight facility in Virginia. Canadarm2 now moving in for grapple. Once again, uh, this view from the end effector on the uh, Canadarm2, a very clear view of the grapple fixture just underneath the, the thruster engine on the Cygnus cargo craft, just a few feet separating uh, the Canadarm2 from its grapple point. The robotics officer reports a good alignment between the end effector and the grapple pin on the Cygnus cargo craft about to be captured. Flight controllers standing by for the grapple and capture of the Cygnus. And effector is over the pin.
Grapple confirmed. Cygnus is captured at 5.36 a.m. Central Time as the International Space Station flew 260 miles over northern Libya. Houston Station M2, we now have a seventh crew member. Janice Moss is now part of Expedition 40. Janice devoted her life to space and accomplished many wonderful things at NASA and orbital sciences, including five shuttle missions. And today, Janice's legacy in space continues. Welcome aboard the ISS, Janice. All quiet here in the flight control room as our shift handover continues. This portion of the operation always uh, very slow and meticulous, uh, delicately executed by the robotics officer here in mission control uh, to ensure that uh, Cygnus is properly aligned for the initiation of the bolting of Cygnus in place to this Earth-facing port on the Harmony module. First stage capture complete. That's the interim step of the bolting of Cygnus in place. Standing by now for the second stage capture that will denote uh, the hard mate of Cygnus to the International Space Station. Houston, I am going to step six. All four latches look good. This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, mechanical systems officer here in Mission Control reports a good second stage capture. And so at 7.53 a.m. Central Time, a little over uh, two hours after it was grappled uh, in open space by uh, Steve Swanson, the Expedition 40 commander, Cygnus is now hard-mated to the International Space Station's Harmony module, a fixture for the station for the next four weeks. Again, 7.53 a.m. Central Time. Mark uh, that as the hard-mate time, second stage capture complete. Cygnus is now bolted to the International Space Station, that occurring as uh, the International Space Station flew 260 miles above the Earth off the east coast of the continent of Australia.